Welcome to jQuery video series and this is part 46 and today we are going to look into the next sibling selector and this is the pattern. So before I jump into the code, I want you to download the jQuery uh, from the jQuery site by using jQuery.com slash download and download the uncompressed version if you are new to jQuery and once you have done that, then you need to import the jQuery into your project then next you need to add a reference into your head section. If you don't do that, then jQuery is not going to work. So you need to make sure the reference is there. And then you write some basic JavaScript code saying, hey, document dot ready, which means once the document finish loading, we want to execute uh, some jQuery instruction. Right. So now let's talk about the, uh, you know, the next uh, siblings. Okay. That's the selector we are looking at. But before we go there, I want to get back to, you know, the adjacent one. So if you remember, uh, you know, we had the pattern something like this, H2 and P. So what this pattern means, this is the next adjacent one. It means uh, when the jQuery will start, it will look at the left one, all right, which is a previous one. So it will assume that this is an H2. And then it will also look after H2. Am I finding any P? Oh, yes, you are finding a P, right? So when I run this thing, it's going to highlight the P tag because that's my pattern. So let me preview that. I know we have done that in the past, but I'm just trying to you know, explain you the example. So you can see over here, you know, after the H2, the paragraph gets selected, which is pretty cool, right? And the same thing what I'm doing over here. What I'm saying that, all right, jQuery, I want you to look at this pattern, H2, and next I want you to look at the P tag. So jQuery says, all right, this is the same thing I have done for the adjacent. So what next? Then it looks at this symbol, you know, which is uh, on the left to the, you know, on the keyboard, onto the one, you press shift and then tile, right? So that's a sign. So this sign means once you encounter this pattern, after that, uh, jQuery will start search for uh, the siblings of, you know, this uh, element, which is on the right hand side. So it won't uh, stop at the first P. It will start looking at, all right, I have P over here. I need to find more P within the scopes. Okay. P is over here. Again, it's my sibling. Again, P is over here. Again, it's my sibling. Right. So it's going to pick one, two, and three. And this is not the sibling, so it's not going to pick that up. Right. Because this is, these guys are the children of the div tag. So anyways, let's run this thing. So you'll get the idea what I mean. Okay, so you're getting my point, right? After H2, the first encounter was the P. So this pattern was a complete match. But when I uh, use the symbol like this, you know, symbol like this, what it means is, all right, so you found the first pattern. Now I want you to find, keep on finding the paragraph within the same scope. Right, so I'm looking for the sibling. So I hope you um, got the idea like how this works. And this is the last topic. So this is the end of hierarchy selectors. Up next, we are going to start with the form selector. So I hope to see you there. And thank you for listening. Good night and take care.